Welcome back. I thought I would do a quick update on how I'm doing this summer with the uh, home backup system. As a reminder, I have the original uh, smart home panel, and it's connected to 10 circuits here in the house, all 120 volt. And I have two Delta Pros, each one with an extra battery. And those are the original Delta Pros. And so that's about a little over 14 um, kilowatt hours of battery storage power. Each of the Delta Pros is connected to one bank of solar panels. Uh, the one here in the front yard is uh, four panels. They're 220 watt each, connected in series. And I've been getting 600 plus watts out of them pretty much all day long. And in the backyard, I've got two uh, 550 watt panels uh, connected in parallel. Now, in both cases, one thing, I, the, the Delta Pro has a limit of, on the solar input, of um, 150 volts, um, which is a hard limit, and it has, it only accepts as much as 1600 watts total. So I'm well under that for both of these, but what I've, what I've done, and I kind of did that on purpose, I'm getting started small, but I, w I limited myself to an eight foot long piece of wood there. So my base of my stand, is eight foot in width and you can see here these uh, four panels actually overlap um, the edges a little bit <laughs> so that's about as wide as I can go the two 550s fit perfectly um, and that was why I had originally picked them uh, they're in the backyard like I said so I'm li so I'm limiting myself to two uh, stands that are eight foot in width um, bases uh, rather than trying to design for the maximum input to the uh, Delta Pros. So with that said, um, this is how, how am I doing? Well, um, pretty much now we're having sunny days all day and uh, I'm getting enough uh, energy to run those 10 circuits in our house all day long. Um, I sometimes around five, six o'clock at night, I check in if the batteries are dropping down to like 70% or so, then I'll turn it onto the grid for the night but otherwise I'm running the batteries like all day long and I'm gradually gaining. So we're using, I'm using about, in the middle of the day, I'm using about um, as much energy as one of my two stands can produce. So the other stand is then actually increasing. And I've had a couple of times where I've had the batteries topped out at 100%. So what I try to do is during the day, I try to start off the day like around 70% and then let them run all day and, and I can pretty much use all the energy I produce. So um, so it's working real well. Um, our power was off last night for a couple out for an hour or so. I didn't even know it until I saw some of the emails um, from, <clears throat> from the power company saying the power had been off. Uh, everything switched over just fine. So I'm real happy. Um, you know, maybe someday I'll get more solar panels and try to increase that. Or maybe I could, if I wanted to, add an extra battery to each of the... I could add another another 7 kilowatt hours, basically. But financially, I don't think I need to do that. I think I'm just fine. I, I met my initial goal, which was to have a home backup that would last overnight. And now, actually, it would last all day. It would last over 24 hours. But I wanted it to last all night, so I didn't have to... If, if, an extended power outage. I don't have to run the generator at night at all. And then the solar is just like a little bonus where I'm making a few dollars um, by generating my own electricity. So I wasn't intending to um, do anything other than that. And so I've met that goal. And so I'm quite happy. Uh, the app's working fine. The, the Delta Pros are working fine. Smart home panel's working fine. Everything's working. So that's an update from here, and I'll talk to you next time.